face is slightly open. And you can see, look how low that ball flight still comes off right there. That was pretty, that was dirty right there. That was dirty. But you know, <laughs> you know. Up in the North Shore of Chicago, up with uh, my mentor Todd Stones, and we had a, he had a school called the Scoring Zone, which was awesome, 70 yards and in. You know, it was 70% yeah. of your score. So it was just, you know, a privilege to be able to, in my young, in my, my really younger years when I'm teaching, to be able to teach that school with him. Yeah. And he always said, you know, you can get so much accomplished by getting people's wedge play dialed in because if you don't have the golf club in the right position, it's such a short swing that you don't have time to recover from the flaw. Right. So if you get out of position early, good luck getting back into it. So that was always something that really stood out to me that I thought was, a, um, was, was, just, was just really neat. And it was a great blueprint for a clinic that you know, was really effective for players. Now, over to this red pin. We said it was tougher because it's shorter. So one thing that people do to really make things difficult on them is they don't have their setup cater to the distance they're trying to hit the golf shot. Okay. I do. Like you see me kind of open the yeah, face yeah, up a little bit. And well, here's the reason why. I actually like hitting a little draw. Like you see how that ball doesn't actually draw, but it goes straight with a lot of spin. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the nice thing about it is when I have that face open a little bit for me, yeah. it takes the leading edge out of it. But for me, mentally, it settles really well because it allows me to really release my body and feel like I can turn it over yeah. and it just goes straight. A square face here for me, I mean, it, it just makes like a really square face on a short shot. It feels like I really have to hold on for dear life. And a lot of times that relays into hanging back and trying to create loft. For me, somebody who likes to really drive into the golf shot, I have weight on my left side, face is slightly open. And you can see, look how low that ball flight still comes off right there. That was pretty, that was dirty right there. That was dirty. Right. But you know, <laughs> you know, hey, pressure on <laughs> but, hey make, let's make something real clear before, before Doug hits a shot. So important for you, for the viewer, for everybody to know. Loft on a golf club. Big in the bunker. What do people do? They get really open. The face is then open and they got the face pointed to the hole thinking, oh, well, because the face is pointed there, ball goes there. No, the ball goes in the direction you're swinging when you have loft. Because if I'm swinging towards Gabe and the camera here, and the face and the leading edge are pointed at you, don't get me wrong, guys, if I hit the leading edge, where's it going? At you. Because if it was a flat surface, like a putter, and I stroke it at you, it's going to go in the direction the face is pointed. Hence, Billy Mayfair. Remember he used to cut the heck out of it? Well, where's the putter pointed at the point of impact? at the hole, even though the path of his stroke was really outside inside, the ball would leave on line because his face would, he had control of his face. So Todd always taught me, have control of the face in putting. With, with wedges, dude, it's going in the direction you're swinging. So we actually square people up a lot more, don't open them up. And that way they can open the face and they can really hit that body draw. But the nice thing is, when I swing in the direction of Gabe there, that ball is actually gonna go in the direction of Gabe. Let's prove that to you guys real quick here, okay? Let's actually, I'm going to put, put it up here on a flat lie. Okay, I got the face wide open. I'm going to aim right in between the red flag and the, and the, white, and the, and the white flag there. Face, I'm going to point right of the, right of the uh, yellow flag over there, 60 yards right. And I'm just going to swing in the direction I'm, that I'm pointed. And look where that ball went. Directly between the two flags there. Beautiful little high soft shot. But you know what's great about that? Having that amount of loft, having that knowledge, I can commit to swinging down the line of my feet. Think about the players who open up and do this. That's why they end up going like this and they end up backing out of it to swing towards the hole. And that's where they get the bouncing off the turf or the sand. Yeah. And then it bounces into the middle of the ball and they get their real bad result that blades over. Yeah. It's the root cause of it. Where the better players out there are squaring up more opening the face with the knowledge of, hey, this ball's gonna go in the direction I'm swinging. And that way they can actually release their body more you to hit the shot. Knowledge or a trust thing? I think number one, it starts with the knowledge of it. Uh -huh. And then number two, it's the trust. Yeah. It starts with the knowledge of understanding, hey, ball's not supposed to go there. Right. It's supposed to go there. Okay, I'm gonna trust that. Now I'm gonna trust it. Right. And that's where you start swinging through it, okay? Gotcha.
But, um, but yeah, that's, that's big because most people have that hang up where they open the face and they get really hung up on thinking, man, the ball's going to go over there. No, it's not. This guy, yeah, he's making me look good right now. <laughs> hey Doug, do everything you can with your setup to make sure that you're gonna hit the ball first, to make sure you're gonna trap it down lower. Watch this guys. This right here, the door stops under the feet with wedges. If, if, if my right foot, left foot, and I cut both feet in half, 90% of my weight is on the left side of my feet. So you, it's never living in the middle. It's boom. It's boom. And I'm just, I can literally feel when I make that shift, and that's why my hip bump, my hip bump becomes a trigger for my swing. I make that little shift, the door stops, get kicked underneath the feet like this, and guess what? I can already feel my divot in front of that golf ball. It's already there. Nothing lives behind that golf ball from there. Shorter arm swing, and then just rotate. Yes. Deaden the hands more, like when you watch me do it, I want you to watch my backswing. So I'm gonna show you kind of where you are there and then I'll show you where, where, where we are, okay. or where you wanna be. Okay, so we're right now, we get a little bit of this. Okay? Yep, yeah, I just get a more, see my body, my body work it? Yep. Okay, so it's more. And that's where, see how, see how low and tight that ball comes off? Yep. And that ball just has a lot of spin because I'm just dragging that handle right through. No manipulation of that, of that face. Yes, dude. Right around that left side. Oh, did you see the difference in that ball flight? So for the camera, I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but Doug just took that down three stories with less effort, and the ball flew 10 to 15 yards farther with a, with a shorter, minimum, with a shorter swing. Exactly. You know what that is? That's just arriving one this way, loose at the top, yep. loose at the bottom, from here, from here. That was unbelievable how much better that was. Close, it was the last minute, there was a last minute this way. Last minute up, rather than keeping on moving around the, around, around the belt line. Keep moving around that belt line. Weight on the left side, dead in the hands, right around the left side. I mean, how, how close was that to being exactly what you needed, though? That was so close. Just the biggest thing about where you finish, though, Doug, you should finish really around that left side. So get, get, get another one there where you feel like you finish left of your left pocket. Exactly. Yeah. And that was a much better action right there. Now watch. You add a little bit of that thought process of, okay, I'm going to hit down on top of that ball now a little bit with that motion, remember it's just something that you need more of. Okay, we need to be more here and down on top of it. So I get in here and watch, this ball's just gonna jump. See that right there? I mean, it just pops off the face and that was me kind of exaggerating what you needed to feel right there. Now, as far as, exactly, you combine what I just did right there with then watch the finish. And you have exactly what you need to hit that shot consistently every time. so much better right there. Hair thin, but that was a great shot. Oh man, a lot closer. Give me some more of that knuckles down through impact hit down on top of it for me, okay? Get the weight on the left side. Get those wrists nice and flat. Knock it down. See the ball flight? That's the way I want you hitting those shots, dude. Yeah. I just, it, here's, a, here's the thing. Yeah, it's technique, but it's a, it's a, it's a mindset. You have to have the mentality. Mm. I'm sure the camera could even hear that one. Right, now, I put a little more on it. now I put a little more on it, exactly. Those were great short swings. That's exactly what you should be getting out of the ones you were getting. 
There we go. Best one of the day there. How pure is that, huh? Is that just... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing with the Pro V1s is ripping. Notice that? Oh, my goodness, Dougie. It's a really nice little swing. And you'll see, the more consistent that you have your mindset through impact, better we get. Yeah. So for me, I've got to think about keeping my hands close to my right heel. Exactly. That's kind of, that's a better cue for me than, if I get lost when I'm thinking like, where's my handle right here? Mm -hmm. But if I can just think, okay, close to my right heel. It's fine. And you feel like you do accomplish the same thing, huh? Yeah. So just for me, that kind of helps me a little bit. Look at this guy. Oof. Yeah, Oof. So you get that down. So here's the cool thing. You get that down, Doug, and then you do exactly what I used to do to be a great wedge player. I used to literally just sit there, just like putting. Happens to account. Rhythm is the glue yeah. that holds it all together. Right. Okay? Rhythm is the glue that holds it all together. So what I would do is I get in there, okay, okay, here we go. One, two. One, two. Dude, how pure were those? Like, come on. <laughs> I love that stuff. Gosh, I love golf. Let's bring me back to the old days there. Oh, Doug, you get in there with a little thump right afterwards. And Doug, just complete that now. Give me the little body draw feeling, right? That body draw feeling triggers something. What it does is it helps the body turn, keeps the knuckles down, all that good stuff, my man. Let's see it. Get through it. Get left. All the way through. Man, that was right where you're aiming to, buddy. That was so nice. Now, if I want to get a little more distance, take a little farther back, you think? A little more turn. More turn and more rotation, more, di more direction in both ways there. Just like that. Now what you can do also, for you we want effortless distance, right? We want to, we want to keep the wrist more this way. Right. Still, and I, want you to, I don't want to overkill you, but still you are rolling the club a little bit inside okay. and that will always open the face and make you have to then save it a little bit. You still want to work on, that's why I don't want you to abandon, find something there that really keeps the club out in front of you. You know, that's going to be something that helps a lot. And then hit down on top of the golf ball as you come down through it, okay? There it is. And that's right where you aimed again and watch where this ball lands in comparison to the other ones. Yep. Ten yards farther, no, no effort. It's just kind of that Hogan, like, exactly. Back. Ex exactly. You know, that's what I always have to write. I almost have to think about, like, a dead hand on my face. Dude, I'm serious. Like, and it just, as long as the club doesn't go like this immediately, we're good. That was his best takeaway and swing of the day right there. That was putting it all together, Doug. Yeah. That was putting it all together. It's kind of that Hogan feel. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.